Welcome to Diaspora Lounge. Thank you for joining us on this episode. We have a very interesting and enlightening discussion today for you. It's going to be very instructive. I was talking with a lady a couple of days ago and she made a statement that I thought that people need to hear this and listen to it. Now, if you're new here on our channel, I'm glad you finally found us. Thank you for stopping by and I hope that you become a member of our family. And if you're one of our regular viewers, thank you so much for your company. You are highly, highly appreciated. Now stay with us. I have Blessing in the background. I'm gonna let her in and then we will get into this discussion. As things are going awry in society with a lot of marriages, this can be um, a light to let us understand certain things that we're not conscious oh. about because I myself found it very educative. I would never have thought of these things. I would never have thought that some people process these ideas this way. And I'm sure that you'll find this also highly educating and enlightening. I'm just gonna play the intro now and then we'll get into the discussion. Thank you, thank you for being here. First thing you want to do is to regain your power. And it takes two to handle. Oh my God, you need to see what she's going through. The husband broke her neck. Right. It's okay, no problem. No problem, I'm going to remove that. So thank you for um, honoring my invitation, blessing. Here is what happened, as you recall. You, you said this girl, this is a girl that is known to us. And you said, do you think that what happened was the right thing that should have happened? This is about a girl who is over 40 now. She's not married and she doesn't have any children. She, there's still no husband right now. Mm. And um, you said to me, it was really, really wrong for that marriage ceremony to have been canceled. Now, to our audience, here's what happened. This girl was going to get married and the invitations had been sent out and the guests had even started arriving. And it was just the same week, let me say a couple of days to the ceremony or the day before that the marriage was canceled. And it was because the groom-to-be had done one or two things, like gotten drunk and been aggressive towards the bride-to-be. And so the family of the bride decided to cancel this marriage. And now this girl isn't married and she doesn't have children. And Blessing said that she doesn't believe that that was the right decision for the family to have taken. Let's hear from Blessing's perspective. No, it wasn't, uh, for my own perspective, it wasn't the right decision for the family to have taken because since they've done everything, concluded the marriage arrangement, printed card, invited people, because I was one of the guests. I was there. I came for the traditional marriage. I didn't know it was canceled. Nobody told me. Right. When I went there, I, I saw the guest say, what was happening? She told me, I told her, are you happy about this situation? She said, no. She said the family has decided. I told her, are you sure? Because, you know, women, we have a biological clock. So it's all about that situation because since what ha what happened has Could you increase your audio? Me? Yes. Could you increase your volume? Volume. No, no, no. Like you're speaking. Okay. okay. Yeah. Just make it louder. So, so okay let me rephrase so uh, what happened from my own perspective i don't believe in that because since the wedding card has been printed everything guests came uh, for the tradition like me i was like tradition marriage uh in my own viewpoint i don't think it's a wise decision for the family to cancel the traditional marriage that they have printed cards bought food for the guests because i was one of the guests so I was surprised when I came there. I couldn't see the marriage holding. So I don't think that was a wise decision from my own viewpoint. For them to cancel that traditional marriage, they could have allowed the um, traditional marriage to take place because one, the printed card, they, a lot of things has gone down the way. A lot of expenses. So uh, cancelling it was... I, I don't I don't believe in cancellation of that. Well, that's a marriage. But but you know the reason okay, but I said to you that the reason Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do... Maybe it was just uh marriage stress. Maybe the guy was uh, uh, stressed, he went on alcohol. Maybe that wasn't his personality though. 
because anything can come up in marriages a lot of atta attacks a lot of manipulation but from my own view since they've printed that card they could have gone ahead and get to marriage and also the family could have come together to dialogue to put in place how uh, at least to discuss if it's you no know, the marriage they could have continued going on with the marriage why coming from why? because it's something that just happened maybe it's not a constant thing it, it's just so I, I don't know what happened. i'm sorry i'm not following the line of conversation what happened that they should have also my the opinion that with the native law should have been cancelled madame no, I, I just want to hear no, her. no 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 if it's my daughter i will not cancel it okay so let me yeah. so so Adri, before you joined us um what happened was that this this wedding ceremony blessing went for it and nobody told her that it was cancelled they had cancelled it she had she had already arrived for the occasion and so okay. she was like oh, what's happening and they told her that there was um a problem um something like the guy got uh the guy be became aggressive and whether he slapped or hit or beat his um wife to be and um so I, so, cancel. so I said to so I said to Blessing that um, this was the reason why, that the family felt that they had valid reasons to cancel this. And I said, because those are red flags. So now what? Blessing is saying, no, Blessing is saying that um, they shouldn't have, that the cards had already been printed and that maybe it was the circumstances. Maybe the guy was under stress, which is true. Yeah. It's possible. But okay, so, I, so but that day I said to you, even if he was stressed or anything, but what happens to red flags? Because we say to people, um, even if it's an hour to the time and you see something, something that you don't want to be happening in your marriage happen, you have to ask yourself, am I going to be able to live with this if this continues? I said, what about red flags, blessing? What well, if we're not going to pay attention to that, then what's the point of talking about red flags? Um, like red flags, it depends on the situation and the circumstances, because at times some guys are jealous maybe they have do you know what the guy the lady did before the guy hit her what did okay. the girl do? because we are talking on one side mm. the guy hit the girl the guy did this but what did the lady do what did he he do Nobody does, does, warrant. does anything she yeah did. what warranted the guy hitting the because before a guy will hit you my dear he could have taken a lot a yeah. guy cannot randomly hit you without something don't don't deserve what i'm saying yes but that's not oh. a marriage that is before marriage they were not it, yet it, married she, she so, so i'm not even condoning not. but what of now that she's not married she's still in the house that's where i'm coming it is from better that that she, it, it's better that she's single than she gets into that kind of man's household because well, if he can because... be slapping her before the marriage by the time she enters marriage it will magnify whatever behavior manifests before marriage it magnifies once you get okay, married. Wait, 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 wait. I understand what you're saying. You're making a point. What of the people that are very quiet, they look harmless, they are calm, but when they come into the marriage, they are very, very mean. What's that somebody hitting you? So how do we deliberate on that? Okay, you are you are yeah. saying what you are talking about people who don't show those red flags. Yes, that was yes they pretend. So you are saying, so what are you saying? What do yeah. you mean? When you say that, what do you actually mean? So what I'm saying is that eh. That is what happened. I do, but also let me ask you: What led the guy beating the girl? I should have known that before I continue, because right now I'm, I don't I don't have the full detail of talking no, about but it. No matter what the girl did, it does not justify lifting up your hands to her. Are you sure he? he so also you're telling I don't me the think, guy. Wait. I don't think you should be provoked to the point of lifting up your hands to someone you love. Because if, if when they are married, that means that if she does one or two things, she will get a beating again. That means what you're saying is she deserves she, no, she's it. not an angel she's now. Nobody's, Nobody's an angel. Nobody's an angel. Always, she, they will always do something. Always mess okay. up. A man will always, always mess up. So yeah. each time she mess, messes up, she'll get a slap. Okay, what of if maybe after the marriage, the guy stopped beating her? How do we justify that? So there's it no, happens. It, it there's happens. no guarantee that, that, that it should have stopped. And there is no guarantee that he could have continued. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Yes. Okay. okay. Nobody knows. Both of us, we don't know. Okay. Yeah, so but, what... but there was a sign that it's it, but the possibility was there. Some people are like that. Him, I've seen some people for him wait, to have it, done it. For him to have done it once, 
it means he has no boundaries i have it my uncle he was very hostile when he was about to marry the wife but immediately they he, they finished the traditional marriage did the wedding my uncle has not laid a finger on the wife so at times some pressure during the marriage can lead the marriage preparation you know expenses you're spending too much maybe you have been built so much so you're frustrated as a man you might at that point in time be very very aggressive but after the whole thing you have at least you have spent the money you have money you can relax pressure could cost such um behavior that's what i'm saying so there is no guarantee that the man will continue and there is no guarantee that the man will stop so basically it's better the marriage should have hold because i told the guy I called the guy i said why didn't you allow why didn't you allow your family to continue but she said you know my all my family they're interested they're happy they don't want me to marry. but all of them they've left her they've all went to their respective homes she's the only one living in the house so what are we talking about that and she's 40 years so is it not depressing no husband no child something that could have settled amicably called the boy's family called the uh, lady's family and they talk it out and say please do I know what you have done is bad. Don't do it again. Going forward, don't hit my daughter. My daughter, what is what made your husband to hit you? Try to avoid it. That's the area I'm coming from. Right, we have regular. But there's some men that come to you, they don't have regular, but they're more wicked and hostile than the one that we... It's always even good in marriages for somebody to show signs of what he or he, he she is that pretending... When I like you, that. I like that part. That is good for people to know. But but that doesn't mean that. So it's good for people to show you even their worst yes. part so that you can know at yeah. least what I'm going to see. Yeah. But the I'm thing pretending. is this if they show you something that is nasty, that you don't that is not something that someone should be happy to or okay to go and live with. How can you go ahead and just ignore that? Are you so you're okay? So you're saying that now she's not married, she doesn't have children. Is it that important that we should overlook these red flags so that we are sure that we are married and have children? Because that day you were saying that what is important is that today now she's not married and she doesn't have children. You don't know when the next man is going to come. Mm -hmm. And so that, that marriage should have been allowed to go ahead. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying. Because why, 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 you know why do you feel that but, let's see, Do you know why I'm saying? This guy that she dropped, <laughs> eh? but the guy is happily married with a wife and five children. What? So somebody is wait. Somebody is living with this kind, this um, this guy. It then means the guy is still a nice person in the sense that he was able to keep a home. And but the home but, 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 but we know that there are this many homes. What the woman in the house with him is going through. Yes, the because we know there are many homes. And has five yeah, children. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't mean you know what the woman in the house with him is yeah, going yeah, through. Yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't it's mean true. that he's still an okay husband. Maybe and, she's inside. And, and you said something that she's in her father's house. And she's 40 year old. Hey, mm. I'd rather be in my father's house and be 40 year old than be with any man that'll be panel be seeing me for the rest of my life. But it's what okay, it's wait, better, what have you it is better wait, wait. to be single and sane than to be with a man yeah, 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 yeah. that drives you crazy. Okay, let's say what let's say what bless, blessing is saying. Yeah, what you're saying is correct, but why we you know women where biological clock is the problem, do you understand? So Okay. I don't really, it's, it's, in that, it's in that area that I'm talking about. They could have allowed her to marry, really. And she'll try, maybe they'll go for marriage counsel and after the marriage, they will go for something that will help them to live happily in the marriage. You don't understand what I'm saying? That's the area I'm coming from. I'm okay. not saying that, uh, uh, yes, the guy hit her, but uh, technically, maybe they could have go ahead with the traditional maybe the guy will not calm down i have my uncles they are like that maybe they want to marry a lady they will be very hostile at the end of the marriage all of them are calm peaceful but there are some men that will come to you know red flag they are more worse than the one that is beating somebody i found this very Uzo, I, agree, Uzo, I agree that there are some men that pretend very well mm -hmm. throughout courtship there are no red flags there are no indications <laughs> Even you know, though I, I don't I, agree, I won't talk about that now. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, all right, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> they are called, <laughs> no, no, they no, are no. called narcissists. They uh -huh. are very yeah, good. Exactly. They are very good at covering their tracks. Mm -hmm. They are very good as gaslighting as gaslighting their partners. Mm -hmm. May I say something? Mm -hmm. Here, here is what I I think it is, huh? And of course, I will say this 
always um yeah i don't i can't know everything but here is my interpretation of these things nobody can hide who they are all that much if you're seeing them enough long enough because some people say that oh we had a courtship i didn't see this red flag i didn't understand i didn't know that he could be this way my interpretation of that is this nobody can really hide who they are that much what it is is that perhaps the partner who is feeling victimized now misunderstood or misinterpreted the things that he or she saw perhaps they were too innocent or naive in that regard to understand that this and that is the meaning of this because we are always showing who we are we're always showing who we are also, so i don't think that yeah sorry i don't believe no, no that's that's believe. okay that's okay I, I i will explain what i mean in another mm -hmm. video because this is not what we are discussing today but I, i'm just putting that in but okay so let's assume that um yeah these people have shown themselves to be nice and good people and then the person goes ahead to marry them and then they start having these problems. You know, blessing, you said something. You said after the marriage, if, if those problems continue, then they can start working on them and going for marriage counseling. Yes. Right? yes. But here's the, and you said that, yes. But here's the problem. A lot of people who are already in marriages are going for marriage counseling, right? So are we saying that we should keep in mind that, okay, I can already see the problems that I'm going to have. No problem. I'm going to get in because I know that we can start working on them. If that is the case, why is it so the question is why is it so so urgent that we should overlook this and your answer was because of the biological biological clock of of a woman but isn't there a line to draw um for for what and what red flags you see that you should you should still go ahead because of that biological clock isn't there a line to draw yeah uh, as i said before i don't understand do do you know uh, i don't know what led to what triggered the man for beating a lady that he, he wanted to marry when they must have concluded everything, printed card, done everything, all the arrangement, the whole food, everything was in place. Do you understand? So I don't know what triggered it. Yeah, my, my response to that will be maybe this she did this thing that triggered it. The bottom line is that whatever she did, he beat her. She, there's no way she's going to know the different, different things that she's now going to do the bottom line is you already know this is someone who's capable of beating me so how am i supposed to go ahead to marry this person when i'm not going to know what i'm going to do the next time that, I'm, that is going to earn me a beating so i'm already planning that i'm going to get into a marriage so that i can be going for marriage counseling about me getting beaten up so why do we feel bad about people who who are already there they're being beaten and they don't leave that marriage why do why do why do people talk about that in, if that is the case Mm. Well, I don't know what to say, but my own perspective is that I don't think that that was enough reason. They, they could have continued with the marriage from my own perspective. As I keep on saying it. And um, the two families could have come into agreement. On... Okay, okay. Let me, maybe. Okay, it like, like, I had something. What, what it was it? Wait, what wait, it was wait, was wait, wait I'm coming. I I Wait, I heard something. I heard something that the father of the girl yes. told the guy to bring something. Did you hear yes. that? And to bring something like what? How? To for begging. Okay. Oh, okay. But I don't know. The guy brought the rope. He didn't bring the a physical cow. And because of the man, because of that, the father refused. So somehow it was an, an attempt. For the guy, because like uh, bringing the rope means after the traditional marriage that he's going to bring the cow. That's what it means in my own village. You're bringing the rope of a cow. Okay, then, why didn't the father allow the lady, the daughter, to keep going? Because the the whole thing. Because in me, I was see why I got confused. That I was invited for the marriage. I came with my children, my family. So everything was okay, okay. okay blessing you have place. children you have children so my question today is now okay you have daughters do you have daughters blessing do you have daughters blessing, blessing, is, blessing is eating something <laughs> blessing <laughs> bless blessing <laughs> blessing is hungry <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, bless me. So, blessing. Yeah. So, if, so yeah, are you, yeah, saying, are you saying that? I have three daughters. Wait. Are you saying that? Uh -huh. Are you saying that you, 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 if you found yourself in this situation, if your daughter, I will, go. Yourself, I will give my daughter. Yes, that is you, me. You want yes. them to go ahead? Yeah, I will. 
What about the fear of, of your daughter being beaten to stupor? No, no, I don't think so. It will not happen. I Why? Will, I know. I, I will pray against that. You, you will know? pray against something that you're already seeing. Oh, so this, is wait, 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 wait. this is where I have a problem. This is where I have a problem. You see, you see, you see, you see, do you see my problem now? Adri, do you see my problem now? You, now that you are on this case, do you understand where I'm coming from now? Madam, there are some things that are prayer. God has given us. He has shown you at the time. God has given us. God has given You've already us seen the signs. Brains. He wants us to use our brains. He wants mm. us to use our intuition. You know, we mm. as women, we have something they call intuition. You can yeah. read someone. Somebody, yeah. yeah. This one is not, forget about intuition. This one is obvious. It is in your eyes, in your face. And we're talking you about cannot, prayer. Madam, I think you, it cannot, society. you cannot hand over your daughters to people like this. Oh. I'm begging you, oh, madam. Don't have this mindset. Oh. Marriage is not a do or die affair. Oh. You see, I, okay, I, the okay. problem is we are in love with the institution of marriage. So mm -hmm. I want to marry. Marry mm -hmm. or I die. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, I remember something you said, Blessing. You said there is no perfect person, right? There's and no so and some yeah, of you are no looking for somebody. I agree that there's no perfect yeah. person, you know. I agree that there's no perfect person. Who's well, that's, but this is I not what it means. No I don't think this is what it means. Right, there is no perfect person because you're saying that okay, if she decides not to go ahead with that person who has shown the red flags, is she looking for a perfect person who is not going to? And then you also said that even the person who displays as perfect may turn around tomorrow and be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Well, then, yeah. And then, yes, but then that's not why we're going to see something that is already looking bad, and then we'll say we will pray, we will go ahead and do it, but we'll pray. This is how we. And then I don't I really don't I cannot wrap my head around it. You know, I think that this is um this is very dangerous thinking. Okay, so think wait, that, okay, let's wait. Wait, there's an instant I want to make reference to some do you know oh yeah, mo, that lady that the wife the husband killed, what was that? Oh Sinachi. You know, wait the yeah, both of them wait, wait, both of them met in the church, eh? and mm -hmm. the man was very calm and quiet. There was no red flag. But at mm -hmm. the end of the day, when they were inside the marriage, the man was uh, uh, torturing Osinachi up uh -huh. to the end that Osinachi died. Have you seen what that way I'm coming from? This was a man coming with a clean note that he was a perfect person, but at the end of the day, he killed the wife. But this, uh, this our discussion is that this one is coming with a red flag in the sense that he hit the girl lady. But I'm saying it's something that we can talk over and discuss. Okay, My, but, but this, wait, this... wait, I'm coming. Wait. My daughter, if this man lay your, uh, if if you go to this marriage, if you enter this, if any time he will beat you, let me know. You come back to the house. It's something that somebody can talk over. But if you want her to come back to the house, wait, 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 I'm coming because everything has been put in place. But this is everything printed cards. So what are we talking about? Expenses, people invited them, everybody came around. So for me, it looks somehow. For me, this my looks, what do you mean by looks? I'd rather lose all the money. I'd rather lose all the money. Is it the way it looks? Matters. Okay, now, nah, okay, wait, wait, wait. I've, I, I'm talking from my own perspective. What I will do, but what if mm. I'm talking about those things? I see that the husband appear like a saint. What happened? So how? Do okay, we, so what you're saying is doesn't yeah. matter. Yes. What are we talking okay, about? Okay, no, no. So what? But this man came as a saint. That man came as a a a a. a, a, a oh, that man came. As a he came as Jesus, Jesus secretary. Yes. <laughs> okay, let me. So, my and question is this. Wait, 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 wait. He killed her. He killed yeah, but, her. Uh, but you see, yeah. this, this kind of thinking, if you're going to think that it's okay for them to go ahead, this is what keeps some people in that marriage where they're being beaten. If you someone can, can think, I will stay in this relationship before it has even started as a marriage, even though I'm being beaten. That, you see, this this is how we get people. It reminds me of chop. blood. It reminds me of that movie, Blood Sisters. I don't know if you've seen it. Mm -hmm. The guy was beating her before they got married. On the day of their introduction, he beat her. So her chief bridesmaid, her best friend, was like, "You are not going through with this wedding." Now she calls her mother and confides in her mother that, "Mommy, mm -hmm. this man is beating me. Oh, I don't want to marry." And the mother said, hey, "Is it not only slap?" <laughs> that how the man has, as in because of the man's family, the, 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 the girl's family has become wealthy, they've given them money for business. So the mother was just thinking of all the benefits. 
-hmm. of my, her daughter marrying into that family will bring. So blessing, how do you see that? She did not consider the trauma her daughter was going through. Yeah, so, so how do you did not blessing? consider that on the day of her introduction, she was beaten and almost strangled to death. No, no, this one is... How do you encourage your daughter to go through with that kind wait, of... Wait, 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 uh, let me come in. This one is different because the mother exchanged the daughter for money. But this particular... This this one we are discussing, the, the lady, the parents are comfortable. You know, some, some Nigerian women, if I see that people that come from a poor home, they can do anything. They can set their daughter off. I now have um, a woman in those days very poor all these ritualists i'm sure i don't want to diverge into that one so that you what you're talking is different from what you're discussing they are not the same the blood sisters is different this one is different and, and moreover this city we are talking that led them to cancel this uh, marriage maybe it could have been worse also was it once or thrice i don't know okay what if what if um was it once or twice or thrice i don't know how many times i i, I really don't know but i think uh, once yeah. half is enough half not even once half is enough as far as i'm concerned in fact the idea the very thought of it is more than enough to cancel that marriage. so so blessing let me ask you so are you saying that um she couldn't wait why couldn't she just wait to to for someone better anyway i think you've already answered it because you're, you're you already said that even the people who come and present saints, that they can still yeah. end up, they can still end up that way. Yes. Okay. So, so, but okay. Let me ask you now. That day, remember you said I said. Remember you said that what really matters. Let me round. Tell me if I'm wrong or if I'm if I'm right. Okay, you, said, okay. you said that what really matters is thinking about the age as a woman, biological clock, who mm -hmm. gets married. But what you know about in your culture is have think about the future. This is exactly how you put it. You said think about the future. Mm -hmm. biological clock get married and have children this is what matters have a marriage and have children this is what you said right yeah it's what i say but i say that the family should come together to deliberate on the problem but but what if because I, the reason i ask this is when we say that it means that from everything that you're saying it sounds to me like you are saying that the idea of get married and have children is something that's very important the reason i'm drawing this and i think this is very enlightening for everybody is because for me when i was growing up even even at the age of marriage i really was not thinking i wasn't i wasn't um that was not put into my consciousness think about your biological club make sure that you get married before this time to have children so this is something that if you're not thinking like that it's actually important because if you're thinking like that early enough then you can start early enough to be conscious of the people that you're meeting mm -hmm. and to expand your circle to meet the right people so that even if you're meeting people you're not feeling that kind of uh, pressure that i have to stay with this person because i don't have other options you know so i think it's really important for us to to start to um keep that in mind and think about it early enough and then um i said if if that is that important for me to get married and as a woman and have children what about if this man doesn't meet other criteria like he already has this kind of personality it's not some someone or something that i'm really going to feel very happy with are you telling me that Considering my biological clock and the possibility of not having a married and children in the future, I should ignore. I should ignore the fact that I may not be happy with this person. Maybe we don't even have the kind of relationship where we are so close, where we, we have companionship and all that. How how do you how do you get around that to get into a marriage like this, where what is most important is having the marriage and having the children? Anyway, it depends, yeah. Um, because I was thinking from my own side of, uh, from my own viewpoint, eh? Yeah. If you allow your the man to print cards to do it, before you get to the preparation level, inviting people, you must have liked the guy. You can just, you can just. Um, no, but how do you like yes. someone who, who has all those red flags of his, he's beating you, he's drinking, or he's a gambler or something? And uh, well, mm -hmm. from my own viewpoint, nobody has beaten me up to this my age yeah so i don't have that i don't really have that I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to say at this point because no man to my this man has lay a finger slap me in my life do you understand so it me depends. too nobody has beaten me and, but i cannot so I can't even fathom yeah, that anybody should, should no, any adult yeah if, I, if, I, if an adult is beating or is being beaten it's it's strange to me that anybody can accept it 
own no, second. But I was thinking while we were discussing that, I was thinking that it was just a one-time beating. I didn't maybe know. Maybe it is. Yeah, maybe, wait. Maybe it was. And again, and again, why if if he beat her, why did they continue with the printing of the card? They could have stopped it before that. No, time. this happened. This happened just before the marriage. You know now. That's why you uh, came. Up, you went all the way there only to go and find out that the day before this had happened. I have okay. a cold. Can I just oh. brush and blow my nose? I have a cold. One minute. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you can mute too. So. Oh, okay. Um. Oh. Yeah. But, so, oh, <laughs> Because I don't know what to say, but what I know is that uh, if it's me, uh, me, I will allow my daughter to continue with the marriage. Okay, blessing. Eh? Yeah. So what I was trying to draw out that time is, when a girl marries a man like this, hmm, did you even I... think about the fact that he's already he's already like a lord over her, like he's already like somebody that can beat her? What kind of relationship can they really have? How would they be relating? Uh, it's going to be horrible now, bring it so, so, so somebody should be ready to get into that kind of situation. No, 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 no. It's not what I'm, I'm no. So I don't know. It's not what I mean. I was thinking that, uh, you know, life, anything. No, yeah. I was yeah, thinking life. that it's something that you can, the two family can discuss about it. it my son. It if it's family. my village, where I'm coming from, at that point in time, the married must hold. From the married must hold. Yeah. yeah, it's a must from my own village. They will call the family, invite the family of the guy, invite the family of the man. They will discuss. So no matter what happens, a married must wait, hold. Wait, wait. Yeah. They will discuss about if it has gotten to that extent of printing cards and bringing people. And inviting people. people. Yeah, it must hold. Then after which, if the guy continues, the marriage can stop. That's what you're saying. In the oh, okay. Okay. The man me she has married, but she couldn't control the excesses from the man. That's where I'm coming from. Okay. If it's my village, so far as that card has been printed out, so far as visitors we are coming, it must hold. Okay, you're saying then, that you should go ahead, but if when they get in there, if it yeah. if it continues, continues then it you can consider now breaking. Yeah. They're automatically mm -hmm. they will say, not say after all, once I was once married, and that's what every other person will be happy about, you know. If it's oh, my auntie, what about the children as well? What if she didn't have children? You don't understand what I'm saying, also. You're not yeah. me. Mm -hmm. This scenario is different from every other. You know, people have different uh, experiences. But what about that stigma, which is also one thing that because you're saying stigma of not being married. What about now the stigma of you got into a marriage and now you're out? That's another real stigma that people from our society deal with. Is it better? One? Wait, is better you're married? And come on, that you didn't marry at all. Why? That's, that's how society has placed women in Nigeria. Wait, wait. Somebody say, look at you. Did any man even come to knock at oh, your okay. door? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Look at you. When they're calling married people, you know, you know, Nigeria. Oh, now, really important. Know? I think it's a real thing. Oh my. God. Ah. No, we can't allow this idea. We can't allow huh? this idea to. We can't allow this idea to be oh, to set out there. We have to we have to quickly refute this quickly. <laughs> Uzoma, can you hear me? I can hear you, but I think it's a real concern for some people. It's a real concern. Some people want to be married, and at the end of the day, that's why we have so many divorces now because some people will pretend and get married. At the end of the day, they walk out. Where you yeah, think? but 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 you support it now. You sound like you support it. No, in this scenario, wait, wait, also, no, no, I not generally. You should not generalize this particular. No, 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 I know, I know. You're saying in a scenario no, 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 like this particular one, I'm emphasizing on. I'm not talking about other people. This particular one that they printed, card, they done everything. No, I know that's what you're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not generalizing everybody for everybody, but this. No, I know, I know. <laughs> but what you said now is true. You said that that's part of the reason why there are so many divorces. Because one of the reasons is that some people feel like. Let me just at least have it. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, but... Because if the guy continue beating them, they will walk away now. That does not what I'm saying. So in this particular scenario, this I'm still emphasizing on this one, eh? Since everything has been put in place, they could the two families could have come in agreement. It's a minor thing. People make mistakes. No human being is perfect. I'm telling you. They could have come, please. No human being is perfect, yes. Yeah. That's not, nobody's no, looking for perfect my son. Like yeah. if it's my father, my father will call my the guy in question. Please don't beat my son, my daughter. My daughter, 
respect your husband, whatever that has triggered him, to try to avoid it. Let there be peace at home. Do you understand? Because you might even drop this one. The next person you're going to meet might be a ritualist, might be anything. So in life, we try to, you know, calm down in certain situations. This particular one is that the card, everything was concluded. So why did he stop holding? That is what I'm still talking about. It's something that they could have uh, uh, discussed, come to an agreement, because it's, we, 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 now, do you understand? Uh, we come to an agreement, say, please, I don't want this thing, don't ever beat my daughter again. Let that, you know? Okay, yeah. let me ask you a question. Do you know that, do you know that if people continue to do this, this will be like allowing people to know that if I, even if I do this, they are still going to act as if everything is okay. This will, this will, like, this will discourage people from working on themselves and their vices. It will make some people feel free to just do anything because they know that some people have this mentality. So don't you think that it's better that you hold people to a high standard so that people know that many people are not going to tolerate this kind of behavior from me, so I had better shape up. Isn't that a better way to deal with things than to, to accept oh, well, people? Well, well, it's a better way to, maybe, like she stopped doing, uh, they cancel the whatever. But what I'm saying, what even you now, as all of us are here now, what will warrant a, a guy to hit you? It depends on how you place yourself. Because I don't believe that a man will randomly beat me it depends on how I have reduced myself to for a man. Wait, keep, wait, wait. For a man, keep it. I'm coming for a man to come and lay his or her. Okay, I like, I like that. Thought. I like yeah. that. Thought. Because what, why should you beat me? Because like the way I'm relating with the person. Yeah, the, you beat him, you will not. Then you will know that he could never try to beat me because yeah, why? I'm not why? giving him that impression that I'm someone that he can beat. Yeah, maybe the girl is over showing him love or what. I'm not understanding the whole thing. Do you understand? So I'm also I'm tired. See, from my own perspective, me, I will go ahead with the marriage if it's my daughter. That is me. I don't know for another person. Do you understand what I'm saying? That is my own viewpoint because everything was in place. Everything. Was... Well, this is one of the reasons why I say the marriage is already dead on arrival before it even started. It's already dead. And you have said that this is one of the reasons why there are so many divorces because people will see red flags and still go ahead. So, 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 as a po at a time, I I was thinking like a child. I was thinking, oh, when people know all the things that they're supposed they're supposed to know, then we'll have divorces. But I've come to understand that it's not going to happen because people will deliberately be walking into fire. Sometimes it's innocently, sometimes it's deliberate. It depends. You might see a gentleman when you go there. The, the gentleman can even kill you too and bury you. It depends. No, that, that, that's okay. We'll deal with that one if we get there and see. It all this is the best, sister. Are you? Are you just, also, all this is the okay. best. Okay. very. Audrey, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you? What are you saying to this so we can wrap up? Okay. Okay. My my take. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my take is, marriage is not a do or die affair. It is better to be single and happy mm -hmm. and have a future and be headed somewhere in life mm -hmm. to be married and be miserable and be in a depressed state for the rest of your life. It's already there. It's already in place. <laughs> wow. There's something, there's something in Ibuku and what she said. She said, young girls, be very careful who you choose to marry. Be very careful. Be very careful. It, it is not a do or die affair. After all, the Bible says some choose to stay single, some choose to be celibate. Yeah, I know everybody. You marry. Is it by force? It's not. Is it because the whole society says it's, it's a the society that they're bowing to? Because no, from what Blessing not. said, Blessing yeah. said, do you know there are some, some ladies that just don't want to marry? They let them be. Let them be. If they don't want mm. to marry, let them be. There's my. No, no, no. But she's not talking about those people. She's talking about people who want to marry. See, let me tell you, there's my auntie that uh, she's in my village now. We, when we go there, when we go to the village, we see her, we feel pity for her because. All oh, right. No husband. And she's 60 something years. How do you relate to such a person? She was making money. She was living well. She was happy. I don't want to marry. I don't want to have a child. Blah blah. But now she's she's suffering in the way. Nobody is helping her. 
that's the situation you see. Say, so, okay, let me just marry and have my children that will take care of me when I get old. Because old age is a reality. Oh, is it you have children? children? Wait, <laughs> wait, I'm coming. Old age is a reality. You can't be young forever. So you, at least you have one child that can take care of you, my dear. It's very important though. That my aunt, anytime we go to the village, we say, hey, God, oh, she made a mistake. Or she could have at least have a child. Or she could have, you know, so, but uh, it depends. Everything we are talking depends, though. Yeah, marriage is not a do or die affair. But at the same time, the last thing that I think is very important to ask is, if a person has this kind of mindset where marriage is what is most important and having children, mm-hmm. by the time you're getting into a marriage, that person might be the kind of person who I just see a man that I feel is good enough, is okay enough for me to marry. So I'm going to get in, I'm going to marry him. But it means that this is not, I'm not marrying him out of the desire that I want to build a life with this man. It's out of a desire of I need to have marriage and children. So when I get into that kind of marriage as a human being, as a woman, as a wife, that man, when he's expecting me to be like a wife to him, to talk to him like his wife, to give him companionship, and to speak to him, for my words to come out of my mouth to him like a wife, he's not going to get that. So if some people have this idea already, because when we had that conversation, blessing, what it made me realize is that some people are getting into marriage for the purpose of, you know, you made a statement that you said marriage is for procreation. You know, you said yeah, yeah, marriage yeah. is for procreation. You know, some people are doing things differently. I might buy a car because of showing up. I want to buy. So some yeah. people go to marriage to have children. Some people go to yeah. marriage answer missus so people have different mindset of going thank you so this is what i want to shout from the hilltop now for everybody to understand that what if what if the person that you are getting married to this is the person's um, reason for getting married when you now get into that marriage what you find is that the person does not act like a husband or a wife because the purpose for which they got in there is this other part and you didn't know now they've married you they've achieved what they wanted well, you are there expecting someone to treat you in a husband-like way or in a, in a wifely way or a husbandly way. But you can't get that because that's what the person came there for. Oh. So that's why I find this very, very eye yeah. We're going to, we're going to, I think we're, we're going to close this. You, you, did, you heard the last thing I said, right? Mm-hmm. I maintain we should not make our daughters feel they must marry or they must not marry. Mm-hmm. Our daughters to have the choice. It's a life of misery. Let them, let them have a choice of how they want their lives to be, how they want their future to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, okay, thank you. Thank you, Blessing. Um, thank you, Blessing, for honoring the invitation. you, ma'am. Okay. Bye. All thank right. You. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Bye.